Welcome to yet another deep dive with the chicks. Ooh, do we have a juicy story in it's store juicy. for everyone today? So juicy. <laughs> and I love this. You found this. And then I was like, I saw the title of it and I was like, okay, well, I see where this would be a good deep dive topic. And then I watched the video and I was like, oh yeah, we're talking about this. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But and first, I, yeah, we exactly. have to talk about our friends at My Pillow, who, by the way, have a huge discount going on on our favorite, favorite product of theirs, their towels. Yes, God, I love the towels, you guys. They're the best. You can't, you can't even understand how awesome they are until you buy them. Like, I mean, because we can talk about how unbelievably absorbent and thirsty and wonderful they are, but until you actually experience it for yourselves, like I just, it's hard to explain how awesome they are, right? <laughs> it really Am is. Wrong? Yeah. Cause you They're can just... say it, but like, it's true. You, you kind of just have to see for yourself. And it's like my, my in-laws didn't believe me. I mean, I told them, I was like, I promise you the towels are my favorite thing. And yeah. if you just buy them, you'll see why. And then they did. And they were like, okay, you're right. We're never using another brand. Right. I mean, it's true. It happens to everybody. They're amazing. They're so, and so amazing huge discount when you use code chicks at mypillow.com slash chicks they are normally sets the six piece set of towels is normally 109.99 and when you use code chicks at mypillow.com slash chicks they're only 39.99 you guys hello now is the time to get them so make sure that you go and you get your my pillow towels right now and while you're there get some other stuff too because all of their stuff is amazing all right. Um, do we want to start by telling the story or do we want to start by showing this story? Um, and well, the story? well, first of all, I want my dogs to quit barking. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> good <laughs> Lord. Okay, we're done. <laughs> all is better with the world now. Okay, all so right. anyways, and here we go. Sorry. All right, I'll just pick it up from like where Thank I asked you. you that question. Okay? Thank you. Okay. So do we want to start out by telling the story or do we want to start out by playing the video from the story? Um, we should probably start by playing the video so people can get an idea of what we're dealing with and then we can uh, give our two cents. <laughs> yeah, okay. This, mm -hmm. All right. So just what you're about to see is a girl on TikTok. She's got like 230,000 followers. A lot. a lot of followers. A lot of followers. Mm -hmm. And she's become somewhat of a phenomenon because of what she is about to explain in this video, which is a relationship contract right. that she has with her boyfriend. Here we go. I feel like most of you guys are already pretty familiar with my relationship because I'm just constantly milking it for content on this app. Mm. But... A lot of people are always like, oh, you guys are so cute. Where did you get him? And the answer is Tinder. We met on Tinder, the infamous like, hookup app. Yeah, that's where we met. But what you guys probably don't know is that like a month after we first met, our first date was October 18th. Um, we yeah. drafted up relationship terms and conditions. Right. So I'll just take you guys through that. I'm not going to read it all because like cringe, but there's objective, honesty, communication, awareness of partner's needs, clarity, and... I don't know. Does that say alignment of your intentions? You drafted up boundaries, saying no, prying. You know, these are my boundaries. I further doubt it there. It says Emma comes before anyone and anything in my life. My dog. So That's your dog. And these are his. Uh, he said the important information pack. You know, these are his like boundaries. The about me section. <laughs> No, I'm no relationship therapist or anything, but I feel like this has helped us avoid issues that I see other people dealing with all the time. Like people are like, my boyfriend doesn't buy me flowers. You're like, how am I supposed to hint to him? I want something. I literally wrote in a contract. Ideally, I would like to see a romantic gesture once every two weeks to a month and I will return the favor. <laughs> and we both outlined what we would like to do with our future together. Now I will admit this is absolutely psychotic to write up two weeks after meeting somebody <laughs> on Tinder, but Maybe. it all seemed to eat up our relationship. So this is what we did. Um, mm -hmm. It is crazy, but if you want to agree to a contract, how do you know what you're signing yourself up for? You don't want to throw yourself into a one year long commitment and you don't even know what like the terms and conditions are. I need to know the rules here. And thus Michael and I have hardly fought. I mean, we just kind of refer back to what we've agreed to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, okay, so yeah, so there. Uh, okay, when I read this, I, I looked at it and I thought, okay, well, this is completely bad shit, right? And so 
I, I read the whole article. I went through the whole thing. It's 17 pages, this contract that they have. Yep. And then you get to the end and I'm like, okay, well, well there's going to, you know, experts are surely going to weigh in on this, right? Well, there are experts that weigh in, you know, some experts say that this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then there are other experts that are like, this is crazy. This is not normal. Right. So of course, cause you're going to have, cause there are people who become quote experts, right? I mean, you're going to have people, it's kind of like going to a therapist. You can, if you are a crazy person and if you feel like you are, you have issues and you want to like find somebody who can agree with your issues, you can always seek out a therapist who agrees with you. Right. I mean, I'm just putting that out there. Oh, there yeah. are good, there are good therapists who are going to tell you, you, this is a, you are a pro you are the problem. And then there are other therapists who are going to be like all the other people around you are the problem. And so, I don't know. I feel like in this case, this, there, there are going to be therapists who are going to say, this is crazy. And then there are other therapists who are going to say, this is fantastic. And that's exactly what you're hearing. So, I mean, it, to me, it's just a matter of opinion, right? Oh, there are yeah. gonna be, this is, this is just all a matter of what do you think is the best thing, you know, I guess, relationship wise. Now in our generation, I, I, I never heard of anybody doing this. Did you? No. Oh my God. No. Well, I mean, back in the day, back in the days of yore, when we <laughs> <Right>. were young, <laughs> um, right. well, and certainly when our parents were getting married, mm -hmm. you know, divorce was still kind of considered taboo. Was, right. It was like never, it was, it just wasn't as easy or marriage wasn't <clears throat> entered into as lightly as it is now. And now, I mean, I'm not surprised that we've gotten to the point where someone meets somebody on Tinder. 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 I cringe. Oh, I, I cringe. cringe at that. I cringe. cringe at Tinder. I cringe. Um, but when you meet somebody on Tinder and you <laughs> are, you're like immediately <laughs> drawing up a 17 page contract within right. two weeks, mm -hmm. that is not something that people used to do, certainly. Now, I will say they've been together a year. They appear to still be together. I looked at her mm -hmm. TikTok before we did this deep dive and they seem perfectly delightful together. And I think it's not because of the contract as much as it is that they have found compatibility in that they both think that this is normal behavior. Right. If you That's get two right. people who think this is normal, chances are they're going to work out. Yeah. I mean, you got a guy who's in pre-law and a girl who wears a blazer. You know, it's like, <laughs> these are people, <laughs> these are people who are going to be compatible. I don't, right? <laughs> With a crop top. Oh, was Let's it a crop forget. top? Oh, oh yeah. I, oh, I didn't see the crop top. I thought maybe she actually had like a legit, like she had like the, <laughs> the, the knots landing thing going on. Cause that's coming back, you know. The Wait, well, now I feel like I got to look. Did she have look. shoulder pads? Oh yeah. There's shoulder pads, you guys. This is the thing. This is happening now. I'm, and I feel, I'm seeing this all over the place, Mock, and I'm genuinely concerned. I have raised my concern. I've raised red flags about these freaking shoulder pads and other huh? places. I'm not doing this, you guys. I'm not. Mm -mm. I know this is off subject. We're supposed to be talking about this contract, but just as a side note, I am not doing shoulder pads again. Okay. <laughs> Like I'm not, there, there are things that I know that these kids want to bring back from the eighties and nineties because they have zero originality, but I'm not doing shoulder pads again. I draw the line. <laughs> I draw it. That's what my boundaries that are. Is completely fine yeah. and a good boundary. Then, now yeah, she does talk about how in the 17 does. page contract, they have, they list out their boundaries. They mm -hmm. have uh, uh, goals and objectives for their relationship. Right. They mm -hmm. have the results of their personality assessments yeah. in there. Yeah, um, which and they I've also heard of Myers Briggs, but I've never heard of the Ocean one that they did. I ha I'm gonna I have to take it. I haven't either. I haven't. I haven't heard about that either. They even talk about um, in the article that is that accompanies this. Um, it talks about how on their anniversary, in addition to celebrating it or in lieu of celebrating it, they talk about giving each other like a um, what? Do, what do HR people give employees at the end of the year? Like a performance assessment? A performance appraisal? Right. That's what they talk about doing, uh, uh, you know, looking at the 17 page, whatever this is, this contract and saying, now, how'd you do? How'd you stack up this year? Did you meet all of your requirements? And then what are, how are we going to tweak it for next year to see if you can meet those requirements? I just, to me, I hate that crap at work. Oh, like I hate God. it. So I can't imagine living up to that in a marriage. Cause I feel like marriage is like my safe space, right? That's where I go 
from work, I mean, granted, we have the greatest job on the planet now, but in, after my 25 years of, of corporate experience where, you know, I was traumatized. And so I, it's like that when I was in corporate America, I come home and, and my, my life at home was like, that's where I went to just be comfortable. It's your respite. Be, right. And so I can't imagine having my husband be like, listen, this is your, uh, performance assessment on how you did as a wife this year. And I got to tell you, numbers one and two, like the cooking shit, you totally failed. You got <laughs> You're barely meeting requirements at this point. Like, I'd, be like, I'd, be meeting, I'd be meeting no requirements for cooking. I mean, I would, because there, I have to make sure that wasn't even on there because I, I don't cook. But I mean, I can't, I just can't imagine it being so formal. I think that's what I don't like about it is the formality of all of this. And the, and the fact that she has to, there are, I think there's a, a place in there where she says, um, you know, her girlfriends, one of the reasons that she did this is because she heard people around her complaining about how men would let them down, you know, and like in the romance department, they didn't give them flowers enough. And so she wrote in this contract, you need to show romantic gestures at least one to two times a month. And so every time my husband, if, if I, in fact, did one of these contracts, every time he would give me flowers or do something sweet, I'd be like, are you doing this out of obligation? Right. Exactly. Or are you doing, are you doing this because you really want to do it? And that's, and so doesn't she understand that that is, that's like, I don't know, I'd, maybe that's okay with her, but that wouldn't be okay with me. I'd rather have a man give me flowers once every six months because he wants to then one to two times a month because he's obligated to do so. There's under a contract. Right. <laughs> under, under duress. Well, there's this thing that you and I do and that people of our generation do, which is that you just communicate with one another on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Oh and God, then you avoid really? needing to have like a giant 17 page write up of all of your expectations. Yeah. I, I mean, and the, can you imagine like I, I've watched a couple of their videos that they've made together and it's very, very clear that she's not just wearing the blazers. OK, she's wearing, the she's pants. wearing all the pants. And so it, and he's very soft and I'm listen, shocked if she's into that. That's fine. If I'm this contract thing works for them, that's fine. But they're putting it out there for the world to consume as a possible example to follow. So I feel like we're perfectly within our purview oh, totally. to be able to criticize it. Without it's question. Crazy pants. Yeah, it, it, they are <laughs> kind of crazy pants. But, the, but don't you think, too, that that is um, that's sort of a, an indication of how a lot of couples are these days and a lot of how a lot of these young people are these days? Because we have we've sort of re um reframed couples the dynamic of couples the dynamic of men and women like it used to be and people will get so mad at me for saying this it used to be that the men were the heads of the households yeah it used to be that men were in charge and you know and frankly in my house i mean as much as like we'll joke about it and say oh my god my husband our husbands are like it, they're doomed special when we're together we're talking it's like oh they just roll their eyes and they can't <laughs> They can't get a word in edgewise and blah, blah, blah. But I still like, I look to my husband to make a lot of the decisions. I look, I want him, I want my husband to be in charge. I can't imagine my, I mean, granted, like I, he, he'll joke and be like, you're the CFO and you're this and you're that. And, and we are equal in a lot of respects. We're very, very equal. But from an emotional standpoint, I want my husband to take charge on so many things. I can't imagine me like ordering him around all the time. Cause well, that's one, because you like masculinity. Right. And now, and now a lot of girls don't, a lot of girls want the soy boys. I <sighs> want someone who knows that their job is to grill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yes. <laughs> and yes. That, I mean, that's one of their jobs. Uh -huh. And I know whenever we get like a big old ice chest from Omaha steaks, I know my husband is going to make us some good stuff. And you know eat. what? I don't even know how to grill. I have no idea how to grill. I have no idea how to use the grill. I don't even know how to mm -hmm. do it. Like, I'm serious. Like, I don't, and I don't want to. So I'm like, you, here's the Omaha steaks. Here's all the meat. Here's the box of things. Go make it. <laughs> use the fire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a dude thing. Okay. Right. There are some things about traditional roles that are to be appreciated, and the grilling is one of them. Right. And if you are a person who likes it when your man makes you some good steaks, they don't come any better than the ones that you get from Omaha Steaks. Mm -hmm. If you go to omahasteaks.com and use keyword 
chicks in the search field, keyword chicks, you're going to get a little drop down that says, hey, do you want to see the chicks on the right deal? And of course, you're going to say yes. yes and then I you're going to get to the deal, which is the Omaha Steak Sampler, which has a huge assortment of all kinds of different meats, chicken, beef, steak, fillets, sides, desserts, all of it. And you get 12 free steak burgers with your order of the Omaha Steak Sampler. Yum. So it's a great, great deal yeah. if you use keyword chicks. So good. So good. So good. Yeah. Man. So good. You know what else I noticed in this um in this little video that she made in the contract was that um her dog Emma came first above all else. Don't you think yeah. that's interesting? Like well yeah, and consider though that she wrote it two weeks in. So I don't know if that's changed. I don't yeah. know if they've amended their little contract or if mm -hmm. that's still the case. But yeah. um I it's funny because I you know that that's fine. Like if she wants, obviously her dog means a lot to her and that's great. I love dogs. You love dogs. We love dogs. Right. Totally. I actually saw a TikTok of another gal who was on a first date and she came back to TikTok to report back to the audience. And she said, huge red flag. I told my date, I have a dog. And he asked no follow-up questions. None. Okay. That's weird. That's but that's really... something you don't have to write a contract about. That's something that you're like, huge red flag. We are right. not compatible. Goodbye. <laughs> right. You don't know. And you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that at all. Like the guy should be like, well, what's what's your name or what kind of dog is it? Or how long, how old is the dog? Or, you know. All the questions. There should be some sort of interest there. Or like, oh, I love dogs. Or I had a dog growing up. Or let me tell you a story about a dog. Or here's an interesting tidbit about me and a dog. Or yeah, something. Some, anything. Something. Anything. <laughs> Yeah, that's just kind of, that's weird. That's totally weird. weird. Yeah, that is a red flag. Yeah, but see, yeah. you're right. But you don't have to, you're right. You don't have to have a contract. That's intu That's intuition. And that's, that's one of those just things. That's learning a person. That's right. like and learning I, if you're compatible by being a person. Right. And at that point, I would be like, this person's an ax murderer. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to just go. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly right. And this is stuff that you figure out. Now, here's the thing, though. The fact that she did drop the contract two weeks in after they met on Tinder and the fact also that weird. he was down to clown. Yeah. Right there shows that they are clearly compatible. Right. Yeah, like, you're right. They you're right. they are meant to be together mm -hmm. if they both think that this is normal behavior. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They and it, and, and also Tinder, too, because everybody says it's a hookup app. It's a hookup app, whatever. My, um, you know, our boy he met his now wife yeah. on, on Tinder. And I remember the first time I ever met her, God, it was like five years ago. We went to a mother's day brunch and I remember they were, um, they were talking to us and I was like, how'd you two meet? And I remember their faces when I asked that question, they were, you could tell they were embarrassed. Like they didn't want to really? tell us. Yeah. And they, and they were, they hesitated before they told us, but I think Tinder is becoming, you know, more of just a regular dating app. Right. Because I mean, I hear more and more. It, stories I have about, no idea. I think it is because more and more people are meeting on that app and getting married. I mean, they're getting together. Wow. Like you hear about these kids and then our kids, you know, my daughter-in-law and our boy got married. I mean, they, they were, yeah. One of the things that our boy said though was, he said, I wanted to make sure she wasn't a psycho. So I talked to her on the phone many, many times before I met her in person. I wanted to just make sure I had to check it out before I met her. It's funny how he said that about her. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know that I mean? is. Well, and it's right. interesting that he used the app in that way. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe he hooked up with people before her. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, I don't know maybe. your son's business. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. I've never asked him. I've never asked him that question. <laughs> but I do find it interesting that they, they ended up getting married. I mean, yeah. there are a lot, and I'm hearing about that more and more, but people, it's, it has such a stigma attached to it, you know, the, for the being, app. yeah, mm -hmm. for it being a hookup app. So, you know, okay. Yeah. I do. Well, and this gal, uh, with the contract, I, one of the things that she said when, you know, she obviously did an interview or whatever for this article, one of the things that she said is I treat my relationship like a business deal and everybody should because you should know what you're committing to ahead of committing and you should be able to set your terms so to speak and i thought that actually made me kind of sad because yeah, i was like too. relationships aren't supposed to be about business it's supposed to no. be about your heart and your yeah. soul and not like a 
like a contract. Right. That's just weird. And I think what she's trying to do is avoid pain. Mm. Like, I think there's a, an element there of, well, if I, if I treat it like a business deal, then I'm never going to get hurt. If I have all these things written out and all these things, you know, put in a contract and we abide by these rules, then I can opt out at any time because you're not following the rules or he's not what whoever's not following these abiding by these rules in the, in the contract. And then we can all opt out. The thing is, love can be painful, you know? Yeah. And it's and if you don't go through that, then you're it's I just I don't know. It, to me, I think of past relationships and things that I've been through and some 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 of it's been pretty freaking awful. And, mm -hmm. but, it, but that's just part of life, right? I mean, that's well, just and part can of you, can you point back to any of your past relationships and say, ha had you had a contract in place, it would have been less painful? No, I can't. And, but it wouldn't have been the same. Like some of the yeah. times that I've just gone, I feel like I've always jumped in head first because that's who I am as a person, I guess. But, but I think most, you know, times when people, you know, fall in love or do whatever you jump in head, that's what love is, right? Mm -hmm. You jump in, you fall in love and then sometimes you get hurt and that's, that's life. That's just living life. I don't, I don't think you're living you. That is business. There's a difference between love and business. And mm -hmm. if you, if you treat everything as business, then that's all you're doing is conducting business. You're not loving, you know? Yeah. And so, I, I don't know about you, but I don't want anything to do with that. Now this will be a I really interesting it. couple to follow, right. right? Like to check back 10 years from now, how are they doing? How yeah. And I'd like to know how, out? and then I'd like to know how she approaches having children. Because oh, children is a whole new ball game. What are you going to do? Drop a contract for each of your kids? Because you can't, you, there's no predicting kids and there's always going to be throw up in the back seat and there's going to be, you know, there's, you know what I'm saying? There's always yeah. unpredictability with children and, and they're all different and you can try to make them a certain way, but you, you're not going to succeed. Yeah. They're, they're ultimately going to break her heart if she thinks that they're not, you know? Oh, and you know that she's going to redraw the relationship contract with her husband. If they do get married to outline what they expect of one another from parenting totally like, because that's a, yeah you're right like it's a whole new world whole when you start world. putting kids into the mix mm -hmm. it's gonna be very interesting so yeah we'll have to well, now i want to follow her even though i don't like her particularly because her fry makes me absolutely cringe to it use all is to very like cringe. her it's, it's very so cringe, cringe and very but cringe. but i i am interested in seeing mm -hmm. how this evolves mm -hmm. um and i want to know i want to know if she continues to wear the blazers <laughs> With, with the, the shoulder, shoulder pads and the shoulder pad. It's, a, you guys, it's just I'm not it's doing very it, you puffy, guys. you guys. Very, very puffy. Um, listen, before we bug out of here, we need to remind everybody about our friends at Acre Gold. We got an email from Karen Kraft from North Dakota not long ago who was so, so excited because she got her first little bar of gold with her Acre Gold subscription Love service. Love it. Love it. It's so great. It is so fun because it's like a layaway, right? You pay yes. a little bit every month, so you don't have to put a bunch of money out at, out of pocket all at one time. You pay a little as you go until you earn that gold bar, and then you get it sent to you in the mail, and you're, it's like it's like Christmas, right? It is. And then you get to put it in your safe and have it and hold it and caress <laughs> I it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And call so it great. George. Yes. <laughs> so great. It's awesome. It really is a fantastic way to invest in physical gold. If you haven't uh, experienced that yet, this is a really good way to do it. Just visit Get Acre Gold. It's A C R E, getacregold.com slash checks. And you can start investing in physical gold today that you can have, hold, caress, and call George. You should really do it. <laughs> we love our little bars of gold, it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any new reviews to read for you this week, but I do want to remind everybody that if you haven't left us a, a review or a comment or a star rating on the Apple iTunes podcast platform, we would really appreciate that because that helps us get more visibility and do more it. subscribers. And we want everybody to listen um, because we love growing our community more than right. anything send else. Us, on send us to a friend. Send us to a friend, especially like a liberal friend that you need to turn because we can turn people. We've been known yes. to do, but, send, but definitely send us to friends that you think that don't know about us yet that could maybe, you know, want to be pulled into the, the chick fold and we and, would love yeah, that. Yeah. And then always you can tell and them to take us, put us right in your tool put us belt. Put us right in your pocket. 
put us right <laughs> in your pocket or your tool belt. You can take us with you. And then you can find us in all the places. Chicksontheright.com is like the number one place you can find us. And that has all the other places that you can find us. But you can find us in like a gajillion places on Facebook. We have a Facebook group. We have an insiders page, which is just like a nominal fee. But it's so worth it because the people there are amazing. And then um, we have a group page. And locals too. And lo locals is awesome. Also um, a place where you can go and it's troll free and it's amazing. It's like all about the freedom. They're awesome. Um, we're on all the different social media accounts. It's at Chicks on Right um, on Parlor, Instagram, Twitter, Gitter. Where Rumble. else? Rumble. Uh, and, and Truth Social. We are on Truth Social okay. now. We were let in. <laughs> so wow. okay. we are there, but we're not posting there um, a lot because it's only an app. It's not on desktop, which makes it complicated for how I do our stuff. Okay. Um, so there's not a lot of content out there, but we are there. And hopefully when they create a, an, a desktop platform, we'll be using it a lot more. Okay. Find us in all the places. And until next week, you guys have a fabulous, fabulous week.